Hi and welcome back to my channel. This week we pick up a hire car from the airport in Alicante and there is so much damage on it we think they may and try and bill us. This photo was taken after we arrived at the villa and as you can see because the wheel has turned and the light is different you can see a lot more actually on the wheel. I've done a wrap around video of the car and basically stopping at the various points and also I've inserted the wheels and various photos. The best of it is this car comes with proximity sensors front and back. So, uh, you know, and on the corners. So I don't understand how this car's been hit so many times. It's only done 36,000 kilometres. Of course, what I haven't thought about is car parking other people with their famous driving. You'll see some black marks. It's very difficult to see in um, low light, but when we get into the bright light, they really show up. They're on the front door and the back door. And um, don't understand what made the marks, but they're there and I had to record them. So there is some marks on the door as well as the wheel arch has taken completely all the paint off. But also, if you notice, there's a scratch above the main lot, and, uh, which is really quite long, which is at the top end of the photo. These scratches are really quite deep. You don't see them in the uh, car park light, but when you get them in the full daylight, they are really deep. I also peeled off the hire car sticker. I know it's good for their advertisement, but it's not good for me being carjacked. There are lots of scratches, dings and dents all the way along here. Um, it was just too many for me to... Um, individually show them but um, I recorded them just in case. Uh, the hire car we hired was an S-Max because there were six of us. The most annoying thing of all of it was the parcel shelf. You can't get rid of it. It's in the car all the time. They won't, the hire car people say if it's in the car it's got to stay in the car and um, yeah so Always make sure that you return it with the parcel shelf or you'll end up being billed. But on a positive note, all the lights worked. Um, one of the seat belt warning lights didn't work, but hey, you can't have everything. When you get inside the vehicle, then we noticed there were black surrounds missing off of round where the seat belts go in. You can see by this picture, this is what a normal one looks like. Half of the seat belt receiver missing. It does work, it's quite fiddly, quite dangerous for little children and fingers. So I wasn't impressed. Thanks for watching my channel. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. It's completely free.